Final Draft will allow you to do some quick modifications and use of typical dialogue conventions, and it will store them in smart type just like anything else. So right here, I can see Malachi is talking, and he's off screen at this point. So he has a line, and we don't see him, and that's what the O.S is abbreviating. The great thing is that Final Draft keeps track of the fact that this is Malachi, not a person named Malachi OS. Now, if I wanted to, I could just go at the end of Malachi's name, and I hit the space bar, and if I put the parentheses there, we'll see smart type come up, and I can use off screen, VO, which is voiceover, OC, which is off camera, and we also see that I've used on TV in this, so we talked again about making sure if you are going to have a TV talking, make sure you write the dialogue for it. So this is the type of thing where you can indicate that. So we understand that the character is still Malachi, but what he's saying there is going to be off screen. Of course, right here, he's on screen, so we don't want to leave that. The use of ellipses and incorrect use of dashes can be one of the number one screenwriting mistakes. You're putting in things that the actor should normally interpret. So if we have something right here, we have Thomas talking and Malachi. Let's make Malachi interrupt him, for example. So I've never seen one. We're going to say, what do they look like? Are they... And we want Malachi to interrupt him. We can put the two dashes there instead of the dot, dot, dot. The dot, dot, dot is typically indicating passage of time or a pause. And that's even arguable about whether you should do that or not, because shouldn't that be up to the actor? Hopefully they're a professionally trained actor and they're going to interpret this dialogue in ways that maybe you didn't even think of. We're not going to use the dot, 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 but maybe in this case we'll use the two dashes to indicate that Malachi is going to interrupt with that line. I've seen the interruption in parentheticals before as well. So sometimes they'll put a parenthetical and write interrupting. Again, it's debatable about whether or not you should do that. I tend to think that you shouldn't. Your dialogue should be written in a way that that is understood. We understand with these two dashes that Malachi is cutting him off and interrupting. It's pretty clear. The only time you should really use this stuff is when you feel that it's not clear. If you need the dot, 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 and you have to have a pause there, it's like you're saying, I don't think that you, the actor, are capable of understanding that there should be a pause before he says this next word. And the actor could retort, well, then why did you write dialogue that that wasn't clear on? So be very, very careful with your ellipses. Just, it's very tempting to put them, it's very tempting to act while you're writing, and you should really try not to. You can be hopeful about the way that it's going to be interpreted, but you should try to write dialogue that is very clear the way that it should be interpreted, and the less you need to use ellipses, certain types of parentheticals, or cut off and dashes, the more lean and mean your script is going to be, and easier for people to direct and feel that this is a professional script that is intended for professional actors to act out.